this question is from she B A A L I S Y M B A. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that, so <laughs> that's why I spelled it out. Um, the person asks, "Hi, I have a question. Is massage contraindicated for peripheral neuropathy? It is. If it is not, what kind of techniques would you recommend I use on clients' hands and feet to help manage the pain?" Um, with this, it's basically a case by case basis. So if they're having tingling sensations or, or they really can't feel anything during that time, it might not be a good idea to massage that area. Or if you do, just extremely light. But again, a case-by-case -case basis and depends on what they can handle um, with that. So again, with that, with that kind of type of disease, um, it's, there, it's less circulation in that area, so even diabetics can develop. Um, those kind of problems too. So that's why it's a good idea to communicate with them and see um, if it's okay to massage them that day and just do whatever they can tolerate too. So um, let's say they can feel but um, it's a little bit painful. Try not to do any painful techniques on them. Um, that's just my recommendation just to play it safe then with that. But hands and feet, yeah, to try to get some circulation would be huge and beneficial but again if it's really tingling maybe some stretching or something might be more beneficial um, during that time but the more you're you have a regular client the more likely they can tolerate massage more that's a nice thing but let's say a first-time client with that that comes in to see you just play it play it a little bit on the safe side so um, just to be safe but other people you've, um, that you've run into these kind of um, diseases or problems, um, please leave your comments below and suggestions that you've done before too. So let's help out everybody. Thank you.